Hey everyone, Virtual Frank back again. I've gotten more than a few reports of difficulty in setting up Outlook, so I, Virtual Frank, have returned to help you. Excellent! Yeah, I know. Okay, we're currently running two versions of Outlook, 2000 and XP. Both act the same, but we have to set them up a little differently. How do you know if you need to set up Outlook? Well, one, if it doesn't start correctly, or two, you see this message. You need to set or reset Outlook. Remember, if you see this message, always click No. Also, if you can't get into the public folders, you need to reset Outlook. Most of us use 2000, so let's start there. To start the setup in either, right-click on the Outlook shortcut and choose Properties. The next window you see is this. You could have Exchange Server listed or not. If you're setting it up, remove anything shown here. After everything is gone, you'll want to add a Microsoft Exchange Server. The server we want is tip underscore e2k and your mailbox. Use your login name, such as FL Schmidt. You'll need admin rights to hijack a different mailbox, so don't try. Click apply and we're done. Piece of cake. Now, XP is the same except for the beginning. Do you think? Watch it, funny guy. In XP, when you click on properties, you get this window. You'll click on email accounts button and get this window. You want to view or change your account, as you probably have an account, it's just screwed up. Note when you get this screen, you can still add an account if you didn't have one. Click change or add and you'll get this window. Well, what do you know? Follow the previous instructions and it's set up. Ah. Yeah, I know, I've kept you on the edge of your seat. Again, this is a pretty basic course on setting up email. I hope it was easy for you to understand. If not, you know you can email me with any of your problems.